I'm so excited to see what Tiffany Falls looks like today. We've had a few days of ice, ice storm, as you may have seen in my last video, and then we had snow. Everything just looks amazing. Wow, <laughs> like a winter wonderland. <sighs> The sides of the valley are just covered in white. Oh. I have on my ice cleats today because I know that there's ice under the snow. A couple more bridges and we'll be at the falls. I love how the water is moving and yet all of the snow surrounds so it hasn't just frozen over. I'm hiking all the way to the falls first and then I'll get my camera out because I know if I don't I am going to stop and take so many pictures along the way that it's going to take hours for me to get there and it's only a 10 minute hike. Bicycles, so pretty. <laughs> You may have noticed that I'm wearing a new hat <laughs> and a scarf It says Canada. I have had a, quite a number of you ask me about my blue winter hat before, the one that says Canada, and, uh, and you've asked me where did I get it from. I got it from a company called Robin Ruth, and I've looked on the internet to see if that particular hat is still for sale. I was not able to find it. So I contacted Robin Ruth and I asked them about their new <laughs> winter collection and they have sent me some of their products and I absolutely love them. If in any way you think you might need some winter hats, gloves or scarves this year, I definitely suggest that you check them out. I will leave the link in my description below. I am so, so pleased. I love the pom-poms and the, the knitted quality. They are so soft and they're so warm and I don't know, it just makes me feel so good. <laughs> so, I am almost to the falls. I'm so excited. All right, are you ready? I can see it. It looks amazing. <laughs> Okay, let's do this. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's fantastic. <laughs> oh. Oh. Check it out. Oh. <laughs> I may have to get closer to show you. 
Isn't that just beautiful? Oh, and nobody is here. Okay, Wednesday morning, perfect time to come to Tiffany Falls. Don't forget your ice cleats. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> it's amazing. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, I gotta take some pictures. All right, I just took a few straightforward pictures. So ISO 100, F16, F13 actually, and one eighth of a second. Uh, I just wanted to get the whole scene. Now, I've done that picture before. I've done it when it's even more frozen and when it's not frozen at all. But I'd like to go down below and see if I can get a different vantage point. I love how the I love how the logs are covered in snow and I think it might make a really cool foreground or leading line depending <laughs> on if I can get in the right position. I'm down below now. I'm really grateful for these cleats today. See if I can get something in the foreground. <laughs> we'll see. I see a spot over there if I can get to it. So I've got on my seven-stop neutral density filter and I'm playing around with a long exposure so I'm getting about 20 seconds at ISO 100 sometimes I have to go up to 200 otherwise it's more than 30 seconds which isn't gonna work I'm gonna see if I can get over there and get the, um, the little mini cascade and the, <laughs> the log in the foreground it may not work I'll let you watch from back here.
I would not have tried that without my ice cleats. That was pretty cool. Biggest challenge, keeping the water off of everything. Oh, and getting into position. That, <laughs> that was great, quite crazy because I had to set up my tripod right in the middle of the water to try and get that little bit of icy <laughs> ice that I wanted in the foreground, but it was so hard to get I needed to be able to step one foot over, but I couldn't do that without getting up to my knee in, uh, in water. Now there was another pretty view on the way back that I want to check out. So let's uh, head there. <laughs> When we were in the Rocky Mountains on the workshop, the, especially out by Lake Louise and uh, once you cross over into BC, the snow clings to the trees and it stays there. It's amazing. It's, uh, it's always a winter wonderland. It is one of my most favorite places on earth. But here, when we get a winter wonderland and the snow is stuck on the trees, we need to rush out and take advantage of it because very, very quickly the snow will only be on the ground. <laughs> when I came in here half an hour ago, there was a lot more snow on the trees. I know I haven't shared any of my own images yet from the Rocky Mountains, and I'd like to start doing that. I've just been so busy. Also, I didn't take very many images because when I work, run a workshop, I want to be helping everyone else to be taking their dream images, not uh, me taking some of my own. However, when we were up on the top of the mountain, there was this very cool ram. <laughs> So I will share some of my images with you as I edit them and as I go along. I still have for November um, two, maybe three spots left for the Rockies workshop. And for June, I have five spots left. So I would love to have you with me. Uh, I will put the link below for the workshops for my website. And, uh, and again, if you wanna just sign up for my email list to keep in touch, I would love that too. I have heard from some of you and that's just awesome. I love it. Okay, <laughs> almost there. I'm just heading over to this beautiful bridge. This is the spot I'd like to try. I stopped here on the way in it's just the bridge is so beautiful. There's logs with snow in the foreground. The sun is actually coming out here now behind me. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna set up and see what I can get. So beautiful.
<laughs> Woohoo, that was awesome. Thanks for coming along, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.